I want to talk a bit about objections. People get killed when they get an objection. They go, okay, all right, let me get back to you, and they leave, and that's the end of that. I want to tell you in this business, there are only three objections you can get, and everything else is a variation on the same theme. One objection is, I don't have any money, I already have an advisor, I'm not interested. Everything else is a variation on a theme. So when you get an objection, understand you can't respond to a comment. You must turn the objection into a question. If I understand you correctly, what you're telling me is you're happy doing business with Merrill Lynch. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes, that's what. Now you can address. That's a question. Yes, I'm happy with Merrill Lynch. Well, I agree with you. Merrill Lynch is one of the most wonderful firms in the world. Merrill Lynch is a great firm. I agree with you. I hope you agree with me. Not any one person in a firm has a corner on all the good ideas. Do you agree with that? Well, of course. If I can give you one idea designed to increase your income, reduce your taxes to both, may I compete for part of your business? Well, of course. Of course. I mean, of course. Uh, I heard somebody really good in this business say, and you know who he is, he, he's a speaker, and he said that the one objection that kills a sale is I want to think it over. And he said there's one simple way to get around that. Before you give the presentation, just say, I know, I've listened to you, I know exactly what you need, exactly what you want, I'm going to tell you what to do. I want you to do me a favor. When I tell you what to do, give me a simple yes or no. Fair enough? No more thinking it over. My buddy Jim, who I, I reference Jim a lot. You know, Jim is a, is a very, very well-known guy in this business, one of the most successful guys I've ever met. Jim is in, in, in farm country in, uh, in uh, Nebraska, and Jim keeps a kernel of corn on his desk because he's dealing with farmers, and that's part of the environment, and find something environmentally where it fits into where you are. But Jim keeps a kernel of corn on his desk, and when, when, when the farmer and his wife say to Jim, we want to think it over, Jim said, you know, you really don't want to think it over. You don't trust me, do you? And I go, oh, Jim, and he said, I, hey, look, you don't have to trust me. You only met me an hour ago. You don't know me. I don't, you're not comfortable. I understand that. You're allowed to say that. You know, you just tell me you're not comfortable. Because I want to tell you something, Mr. and Mrs. Farmer. And Jim picks up that kernel of corn. And she said, you know, if you say you don't believe me, if I showed you this kernel of corn, and, and, and we, I came to your farm this morning, and, and you said to me, Jim, see that kernel of corn? With that one kernel of corn, we can grow row upon row upon acre upon acre upon mile upon mile of corn 10 feet high. I wouldn't believe you either. But you can do it, can't you, Mr. Farmer? From this one kernel. Yes, we can. So what you're telling me is this. I don't have to understand how you do it. I just got to believe you can do it. Is that what you're saying to me? Yeah, that's what we're saying, Jim. Well, it's the same with investing. You don't have to understand how Putnam does it, how American Funds does it. You just got to believe that Putnam can do it. And I'll tell you where your belief begins, Jim. says, take a hard look at me. 99% of your decision today is what you think of me, not Putnam. You're never going to Boston to meet anybody from Putnam. You're not going to L.A. to meet anybody from American Funds. You're not going to, 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 to San Mateo to meet anybody from Te Franklin Templeton. So let's stop deciding about Franklin. Let's stop deciding about American Funds. Let's stop deciding about Putnam. Let's decide about old Jim. That's your decision. Now, I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to check my messages. I'm going to leave you folks alone for a few minutes. When I'm gone, you answer the most important questions in this business. The most important question in the investment business is, do you trust me? Most important question there is. Secondly, do you like me? Thirdly, do you think what I'm doing is in your best interest? If I get a unanimous yes, write the check. If I don't, don't. It doesn't make you a bad person. But please, don't tell me you want to think over having comfortable retirement. He's just, Jim is just great at it. So learn the objections, turn them into questions, and overcome them.